Hi guys, today's video is about the challenge of me trying to turn this tiny passport photo into a bigger sized portrait. And I'm going to talk about challenging yourself in art and yeah, my personal opinion about that. So yeah, let's jump right in. Okay, let me first talk about why I started this challenge in the first place, um, turning a passport photo into a bigger portrait. It was because a while ago I was contacted by a lady about a commission piece, about a commission portrait that she wanted me to do, but the, unfortunately she had very small, low detail reference photos and there was no way that she could get any new reference photos. So she asked me if I could do it and I explained to her that I really need a lot of detail in the reference photos that I use. Because, yeah, the technique that I use, the dry brush technique, requires a lot of detail. And of course, it's much easier for me to work off of the details in the photo rather than having to make them up myself. So unfortunately, I had to turn the commission down. I gave her some ideas of what else she could try. Like maybe she could contact a looser style watercolorist, more of an impressionistic style. Maybe that, sh that way she could get a portrait with those reference photos that she had. I don't know if she followed up on that, but yeah, unfortunately I couldn't help her. But it did stay with me in that I was wondering if I could turn a tiny photo with relatively little detail into a portrait. So yeah, I wanted to challenge myself that way. Now the big difference is that the portrait that I chose to do is of someone whose face I know very well that is my mom. The photo that I chose is of her as a child, so obviously I didn't know her back then, but I, you know, I'm familiar with her face. So I felt like maybe I could actually make up the details that were not super apparent from the photo, or maybe even just not put that much detail in. Like it was really just a thing of me being curious as to whether it could be done or not. Now, that being said, I post myself this challenge and the thing is with me I can't challenge myself on too many levels at the same time because that can get very discouraging so if, for example you're trying a new medium and a new subject matter and uh, a new style and all of these things at the same time it can just get very confusing and messy and discouraging because you're not really getting anywhere so what I try to do when I challenge myself and I try to Put, pose some kind of challenge for myself with every single work of art that I attempt to do just because I find doing the same thing over and over relatively boring and you know there's just not, nothing much to motivate me to even begin when there's no challenge in it and I would say that portrait art is always challenging because yeah to master that and to always get all the details right that's like I'm never able to do that. So there's always that challenge built in. So I guess that's why I'm drawn to portrait art in the first place. I mean, among other reasons. But yeah, I don't want to make it too hard on myself. So one of the big challenges, of course, when you're working from a passport photo sized reference is that it's very small and you can't really measure all the distances. So what I do with this particular photo is that I scanned it at the highest resolution that my scanner was capable of. It's not a very good scanner, but um, it does have a 600 dpi scanning capability. So I used that and I blew up the photo, uh, printed it out and then traced it onto the paper. Now I usually trace references onto the paper when I work on a dry brush portrait just because I'm a relatively messy sketcher and I don't want to damage the paper before I start with the with the dry brushing because you know every little indentation is going to be visible on the portrait and obviously I work in very thin layers and a lot of the paper shines through at the end so it's relatively close to watercolor in that regard so it's very important that I keep the paper in its best condition as possible. Now that being said, and what I'm trying to get at is, I do not not practice freehand drawing. So when I trace onto the paper for a piece of art that I'm trying to make, it's not that I don't want to become better at freehand drawing, it's just that 
I don't do it at the same time. Like that part of the challenge is really for my sketchbook. And I never trace into my sketchbook. That would completely defeat the purpose because I use my sketchbook as a place to get better and to study and to improve my technique. So I reserve my sketchbook for the freehand drawing practice and for when I make larger works. I usually trace because I'm not a fan of the grid method or anything else that you can try to do. I know that some people think that it is lazy, but for me it's really just about being able to focus on certain parts. And I find with portraits to get all the details right and all the shading right is challenging in and of itself. And I don't want to have to worry about not getting the proportions right from the beginning because sometimes you only see it in the finished piece. And it's very frustrating if you've been working on a portrait for hours and hours and hours only to see that I don't know, the nose is just a tad too long and, you know, it just throws off the entire likeness of the portrait. So yeah, I wanted to talk a little bit about challenging yourself, but not over challenging yourself. And I guess there's lots of people who just stay in their comfort zone a lot. And that's something that I don't really have a problem with. Like I always try to challenge myself with something. Yeah, so that's not something that will pose a problem for me personally. So I'm always, I'm, I'm rather erring on the side of putting too much challenge on myself. But I think overall I managed to just challenge myself the right amount, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so that's just all I wanted to talk about today. I really hope that you liked the drawing process that you could see in the video. And yeah, talk to you again in the next video. Bye.